Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Uh, we're going to continue on in our lessons on uh, using C Sharp and ODBC connections uh, and the, um, the system data SQL client. So carrying on from our last session, we are going to now start working with uh, doing some inserting of data. Now what we, um, what we came across uh, when we were searching for uh, uh, something to query on the other, the other time, we tried querying our addresses and we came up with no data. Okay, if I look at um, view data, for example, on this, let's say I've got no data whatsoever, All right? And uh, by the way, our view student addresses is kind of useless because we really don't have much information that talks about um, about student addresses. So that may be something that we'll have to make some adjustments on. All right. So going with that uh, that premise, though, we are going to start looking at creating some new connections here. All right. So our reader, uh, for example, we're not going to be using that right now because we're going to be inserting data. OK, so we're going to create a command here called uh, insert command, we'll call it equals new SQL command. Oops. OK, and all right. So our command is using our connection object right here. OK, and we we need to get some attributes of our uh, our address objects. So the data entity in address has uh, several um, several pieces of data here. Are the attributes we have address ID, which is our primary key, uh, student ID, which is related to students. So it's a foreign key. You can see it right there, FK. Uh, city, street number, province, um, country ID, create and edit date. Okay. Um, and it looks like I'm using an out-of-date database, so you know we're, we're going to deal with that later on. But uh, and I'll make some corrections. However, um, that being said, we're going to add we're going to we're going to add some information to our uh, our addresses database. Okay, so insert into sorry into addresses. Okay. Uh, we're going to add student ID and we're going to put in city, uh, street num, street num, okay. And for our example, we're going to use street num as the just street, so it's going to be the full, a full uh, street address there. Okay, province. Country ID, okay, and uh, then create date and edit date. Those are uh, those are values that that go in uh, automatically. Okay, values. All right, student ID. We're gonna ask. Uh, go over here, and we're gonna get a student ID from our student table. Okay, we'll just use mine. It's student ID number one. That's usually pretty simple. Okay, so our student ID is one. Our city will be, oops, I'm going to use single quotes here. Okay, city, let's go to Toronto. Why not? Okay, street, one, two, three, four, amazing data street. Why not? Get a little silly. All right, and then province is, we'll just do Ontario, country ID for now we'll use as one. <coughs> if I'm right, um, if I don't, I don't think we linked any country ID to anything, so I think what we're going to do later on is create a table for countries to link that one. Okay, all right, so this uh, should work. The way it is here, so we do insert command dot execute non query, okay, 
that non-query because it doesn't doesn't ask for data. It queries the data. Okay, we're going to change this here to addresses, and we're going to ask for this uh, this detail here. Okay. Actually, you know what? We probably could do our view here. So when we do when we do the view. You can see I can drag and drop that name over. Sometimes it just puts too much information, but you, you know it doesn't really make any difference. Okay, so we're going to show the student first name and uh, last name and full name. And of course, we don't have any other information right now, so we're not going to not going to fuss about that right now. Okay, and. I'm going to say, you know what, let's just take this away here. We don't need that. Okay, lives at. Okay. Now, uh, it's just going to say the first name. That's, uh, that, that, that's all right now, but it'll, uh, it'll get, us, get us up and running here. Okay, and... You're pretty good. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's run this command here. If all went well, we should have uh, at least one entry that comes up. Okay. Index zero based must be greater or equal to zero than the size of the argument list. So what's the problem here? We're going to find out what it is, all right? It's possible that we, uh, that we have to query our command here. Now, first of all, did our, did our insert statement work? Let's find out what happened here. OK, we have data, which is good. OK, so I'm going to comment out this line here. Right. Now it's possible that what uh, what came up here is that it um, it needed to we need to reset our command. So we'll, let's run it again here without our insert statement. Okay, must be greater than or zero. So let's find out what it is. Okay, we'll debug that. any data fields has roads equals true okay so if we go in ah haha, silly me that's what it was we don't have this one in here yet so let's just turn that one off sometimes we make some mistakes but as I said before I'll keep my mistakes in there uh, so everybody knows it does happen. So Chris Dick lives at. Okay, now we're going to modify our uh, our view here so that it uh, gives us some more information. Okay, um, we are going to alter the view student addresses. So as you can see, we don't have a lot of information coming in, so we're we're gonna gonna add some of that detail, okay? So if I look for addresses dot, okay, street number, and addresses dot uh, city. Province. What else can we ask for here? Uh, I think uh, I think that'll do. It, we yeah. Why don't we put in country ID for now? It doesn't tell us much information other than a number, but it'll give us something. Okay. So now, if I execute this command, what it's going to do is update my uh, my view for student addresses, and it says it's completed successfully. If I go over here and go to view data, I should have a little more information, which I do. OK. 
Okay, I now have one row. Okay, I'm going to escape out of this. So I don't need that open anymore. Now we can put in our our details here. So I'm going to take some information here, and I'm going to do. I'm going to ask for a street. Let's just get our full full list of uh, attributes here that we put in. Okay, so we have uh, street name. Okay, again, we don't need the square brackets because our our uh, attributes are, are well formed. Okay, and looking good. I'll add in a couple more pieces of information here. City and our province. I'm just going to type this one. And then it's complaining about this little extra comma, so we'll get rid of that. All right, street number, uh, city, and province. So it's going to ask for the name, which is there. The second element in the array is here, street num. Okay. I'm going to put in two and then three. So it's going to say street num, uh, city, and then province. Okay. All right. I think we're pretty good here. Let's run this. Good. Okay. Chris Dick lives at 123 Amazing Data Street, Toronto, Ontario. Beautiful. Okay, that's excellent. All right, so we've got some information uh, about um, about uh, you know, we've been able to add data into our database, and now we're able to query uh, one of our views. So we're going to pick up uh, the next uh, in the next session. We're going to start uh, working with data models and um, uh, understanding how to delete data and uh, to structure uh, specific views of data in those models. We'll be starting to work as well with uh, an MVC concept uh, when we display our and, and use our data. So get ready, guys. Remember to like and share, and remember to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next.